Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team gives you an analysis with the information we got after the closing date time of April 22, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the Bull Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Corporate Bond ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Visa Incorporated is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 6.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $165.1, but we expect a possible sell price of $167.4. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Visa Incorporated, if it is over 1.50% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Visa Incorporated has a striking price at $170. For this option, the actual put price is at $7.5, but we expect a possible put price at $6.97. Real Estate Sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 7.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $249.44. For put option, a possible put price is at $10.26. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell.
let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Biogen Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 20.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $308.65. For call option, a possible call price is at $11.92. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Gilead Sciences was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Gilead Sciences is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 7.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 8.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $88.45. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $76.88. On the call option table, Gilead Sciences has a striking price at $74. For this option, the actual call price is at $8.98. But we expect a possible call price at Merck Incorporated is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 8.5%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $79.24. But we expect a possible buy price of $78.79. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Merck Incorporated. If it is below 1.65% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Merck Incorporated has a striking price at $78. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.35. But we expect a possible call price at $2.69. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Emerson Electric. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 8.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $51.79. For put option. A possible put price is at $1.87. Lockheed Martin was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Lockheed Martin is a bolo class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 19.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $454.01. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $358.24. On the call option table, Lockheed Martin has a striking price at $370. For this option, the actual call price is at $17.35. But we expect a possible call price at $14.08. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Sherwin-Williams is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 3.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $495.58. But we expect a possible buy price of $492.9. In addition, 
we suggest to stop buying Sherwin Williams. If it is below 1.60% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Sherwin Williams has a striking price at $490. For this option, the actual call price is at $24.55. But we expect a possible call price at $20.51. Discretionary Sector ETF Belongs to the Bull Low Class Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Walt Disney Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 41.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $103.36. For call option, a possible call price is at $3.93. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell McDonald's. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $184.65. For put option, a possible put price is at $6.95. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. PepsiCo Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that PepsiCo Incorporated is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $137.22. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $129.49. On the call option table, PepsiCo Incorporated has a striking price at $130. For this option, the actual call price is at $5.15. But we expect a possible call price at $4.46. Technology Sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Technology Sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Western Digital. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 16.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $41.19. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.51. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Microsoft Corporation was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Microsoft Corporation is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 17.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $203.11. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $168.4. On the call option table, Microsoft Corporation has a striking price at $165. For this option, the actual call price is at $10.85, but we expect a possible call price at $7.86. Texas Instruments was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Texas Instruments is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 
we suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $103.81. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $119.39. On the put option table, Texas Instruments has a striking price at $119. For this option, the actual put price is at $8.45, but we expect a possible put price at $4.3. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.